Hi my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here then welcome and please hit that subscribe button and the little bell down below so you're notified when I upload a new video. And if you're a returning subscriber then thank you and I love you all. So I hope you're all good and basically this video I just want to sit down and do a girly talk kind of video. Just chill and me just having a chat with my friends. Do you know what I mean? So without further ado let's get into the video. So, first of all, I just want to say, my eyelashes, can we just take a moment? So, these are just literally, I've got two packs, I have, these are the ones I've got on obviously, and I have put like sanitizer on them and stuff, but these were literally like £4 from eBay for two, and they're so nice, look how nice and wispy they are, soz, so yeah. If you want to get some nice eyelashes, I recommend going on eBay and just getting some from there because they're so cheap. And I wanted to update you as well. If you haven't seen my Makeup Revolution video, I'll leave it in, like, up here. So make sure you check that out. And that's, like, my hair, how I got it this colour, and makeup. I have been using the concealer, um, the foundation I love, but the concealer is, like, so thick. And it, does, it says it's waterproof, but it's not. It lies. So... <laughs> I mean, if you want to give it a go, go for it. But I wouldn't really recommend if I'm being completely honest with you. So anyway, before I keep rambling too much about other things, let's get on with the video. So I've got some questions. And I thought, well, they're not even questions. They're just, like, topics. Because I asked you guys on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do. It's Lydia A. Jackson X. I'll leave it, like, here. Um, and basically, I just said, I'm filming a girl talk video. What do you want me to talk about? Like, relationships time of the month like do you know what i mean so i'm not going to actually talk to you about my sex life obviously but what any like advice i can give i will give to you guys and basically i've been with pj i'm not sure if it's seven years this year or eight years this year i, keep, I get very confused so yeah nearly seven years or seven yeah I think it's nearly seven years. I think we've been together six. I'm pretty sure we've been together six and it's seven in November. So I've been together, I've been with him for a long time. And obviously relationships are hard. They're not easy. So yeah, for me to be still in this relationship, that is pretty well going for me, basically. I have had one other relationship, which was two or three years when I was younger. Um, so yes, I'll talk about that as well. But yeah, let's get on with the questions. So... First one, thoughts on jealousy and how to not be jealous. I mean, I don't think it's normal if you're not a tiny bit jealous. Like, there's the extreme, do you know what I mean? So there's the extreme of being so jealous that you don't let people, like, you don't let your other half go out um, and stuff like that. Or you don't let your other half talk to the other sex. Do you know what I mean? Um, whereas me and PJ aren't like that. Um, I'll go out with my friends. He goes out with his friends. I have friends that are boys, he has friends that are girls, do you know what I mean? Um, I don't get, we don't get jealous, but I always think there should be like a little bit of jealousy just to make, just so you know you still love each other. Does that make sense? So, if I saw him talking to a random girl on a night out that I'd never seen before, I'd be like, oh, what's he doing? But I wouldn't, that make me feel a little bit jealous, but I wouldn't do anything about it. Or if I was to go over there, I'd be like, hi, you're right. And he'd, he'd go, oh, this is my girlfriend. Um, that's how you should deal with that situation, basically. So if you're in a relationship and you see your other partner talking to someone, and if you walk over there and they don't introduce you as your, their girlfriend, then that's, like, triggers already. Do you know what I mean? So, no. Um, that I agree with always introducing your your boyfriend or girlfriend as your boyfriend or girlfriend. Um, but, no, I don't think jealousy should be an issue in a relationship a lot of I'm I don't even know what I'm on about half the time just now I think you should be a little bit jealous just to be like so you still get that feeling like oh it's not gonna but you know it's not gonna happen but being jealous to the extreme of not letting your partner talk to the other sex not letting your partner go out with their friends because you're jealous that's a no-go so how not to be jealous hmm I've not really ever been I mean, in the beginning of my relationship, we were probably more so. Um, but now, obviously, we're not at all. But you've just got to put faith and trust in that person. If you don't have that, then that relationship's not going to work. So you need to just trust that they're not going to do anything. And they should be allowed to talk to other people. 
um as long as it's not in that way it's just a friendship way then that's fine and if if they loved you they wouldn't talk to someone in that way anyway and they wouldn't cheat on you and etc so yeah that's my little advice just have faith and trust in that person and if they ruin that for you then yeah don't be with them obviously but never go into a new relationship and hold grudges from what happened in the past and just trust them that's that's all i can really advise how to deal with bitchy girls or a bitchy girl group so how to deal with bitchy girls is cut them off for one i wouldn't cope like or give it good or give it back as good as they give it to you do you know what i mean i'm one of these i'm not gonna lie i'm quite feisty um i'm very different to a lot of people i don't hold my tongue in certain situations as well which i probably should um so in my friendship group i'm the one what's what am i trying to say so in my friendship group if there's an issue or a problem um with someone else i'll be the one to kind of like resolve it or talk to that other person that's just who I am I kind of and if my friends are in trouble I'll be there so yeah everyone looks at me as that figure really um but how to deal with bitchy girls I've not really had that or I've had girls can be bitchy it's so hard like, I'm in the beauty industry and I've worked in different salons and one salon I worked in the girls were so bitchy but working all girls that can happen um so I just like didn't get involved really that's what i'd say don't get involved and just cut them off and just exit the group if it's a group on whatsapp or like you're in an influencer group then just leave it um or if it's your friends that are going to see new like meet new friends that are bitchy then just stick with your friends that you, that you know aren't bitchy and aren't like that and just say look what we life's too short like why are we gonna get involved with that when we don't need the ag do you know what i mean that's what I'd say. Or if you've got a bitchy girl that's talking to you and coming at you with crap, then just say, look, I'm not interested. I don't want that in my life. I You, like, you only live once. Life's too short. I don't want to have constant negativity and bitchiness coming in my way. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, just cut them off, hun. Just cut them off. Um, what's your best advice to people who want to start YouTube? So, my best advice is do it. I wish... For, I literally wish so much that I started YouTube years ago when I actually wanted to. Um, that's my own problem. But I definitely say, if you're like me back in the day when I used to say I really want to do YouTube, but I don't, I don't want to at the same time, just do it. Just do. You make your videos. Get a camera. Get your phone. Whatever. Make your videos. Edit them on your laptop. Um, that's the first step for one. And then just upload it to YouTube. You can upload it as private if you don't want anyone to see it and you just want to give yourself that bit of confidence to upload to YouTube first of all. Do that, make it private. And then make it public. People can't... It's so hard to... Just do it. Just do it. And I'm telling you now, you'll... you'll if you don't do it, you'll always think, what if? And I'm telling you, it'll be the best decision you've ever made. Like, my YouTube channel has grown like i wouldn't say quickly but it's grown um i'm so thankful for everyone that has subscribed and i love you all so much you don't even realize so and i'm just so thankful like, i'm so so happy i started it and you just need to not care what other people think as hard as it's, it is to say you just need to think life is too short that's all i can say life is too short and why not and if you kept if you didn't do it and always thought what if you'd regret that so much so yeah just do it just do it bite the bullet put it on there and then a lot half the time you don't have to tell anyone at the beginning i never did um and i it grew organically and it was people that were searching certain topics and my videos come up so that's how it will be like for the beginning it won't be your friends and family if you don't want them to know it won't be them seeing your videos really unless they search pretty little thing hall when yours comes up do you know what i mean but yeah just do it do it do it do it Sorry guys, hope that's the same like angle, but anywho, just wanted to say quickly, I just got a parcel, so I just ran downstairs, and I'm a bit in love, not gonna lie. So, this is my new necklace, it says Lydia on it, if you can't tell, and it's in rose gold. It's from a company called, I think I'm saying this right, Sophil, 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 um, so this is them. I've got a coupon code as well, so I'll leave that down in the description, along with their website, so you can go and check them out. But how cute is this? I wanted 
um, a Lydia necklace for the longest time, but I've wanted like a good quality one. And this is such good quality for, for what it is. It's quite sturdy. If you can tell, it's not like really thick, so that's nice because it sits quite nicely. And the chain is good as well. So yeah, love that. So yeah, definitely go check them out. And I, like I said, I'll leave the coupon code and their website below so you can check them out. They've got different colours. They've got like gold, silver and rose gold. I opted for rose gold because I love rose gold. And yeah, just it just goes nice with like any outfit and just adds a little something. And you can adjust it as well so you can have it higher, but I prefer it a little bit lower. So yeah. Just thought I'd add that in there so you can see. Um, but anywho, let's get back on with the video. The next one was telling your mum you want to go on the pill. So this is a tricky one because I totally understand this one. It might be a bit difficult because some people have like different relationships, obviously, with their, their mum. Um, luckily for me, though, I am really close with my mum. And I was about 14, I think, when I went on the pill. But it wasn't for the obvious reason. It was because of my periods. And the periods used to make me feel sick and be sick. Um, so yeah, my mum was like, yeah, let's go, like, you can go on the pill because it will help with that. So you either just sit down and talk to your mum if you are in a relationship or whatever, um, it's up to you obviously, but you can just sit down and just say, mum, look, I, I want to go on the pill, um, because I want to make sure my periods are okay and if I was to have any intercourse or anything, I just want to make sure I'm safe, so the pill is like the best option for me, so you can maybe say that. Or just say, look mum, I really want to go on the pill. Um, if you are in a relationship, it's a bit better because obviously they can kind of understand more. Um, just say, I just want to be safe and I just want to be on the pill. Um, but I can understand it's really hard for different people. But I'd just be honest with your mum, to be honest. I'd just be honest with your mum and just say, look, this is what I want to do. The worst she's going to say is no. So obviously you then might have to wait a little bit longer. But if she knows you're feeling it and you want you're considering it and want to go on the pill then she might be a lot more open to it does that make sense so yeah just go for it so yeah just be honest that's my um advice just tell her how you feel and what you want to do and then at least she knows and then you can go from there um 